Hello Zaniacs, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. Today's book we're going to talk about is The Half-Sister by Sandy Jones. She also wrote The Other Woman, which I have read in the past as well. Uh, she uh, just had this book come out, so I got it for review. The Half-Sister is the story of a family of two women and a mom their dad died either the previous year or very recently, and they are all together having Sunday lunch along with the uh, the husband husband of one of the wives is there also. While they're at their house, the door rings. The door rings. Door rang. While while they're at the house, the doorbell rings, and a woman shows up claiming to be their half sister, the daughter of the father that they have lost. And they are all floored. They they're, don't, obviously don't know she exists. They can't believe that their father would do that to their mother. The mother is despondent and shell-shocked and all of that jazz. So one of the sisters becomes friends with this girl in order to find out more information. The other girl, the other sister, doesn't believe her and is trying to find ways to discredit her because she thinks she has some kind of alternate ulterior motive. A lot more comes out. The backstory of why the one sister tends to believe her uh, based on things that she has seen in her childhood. There is stuff that you find out about the girl herself, the half sister herself. Um, there's a lot of misdirection and a lot of misinformation that gets cast around in the first half of the book. So you're really looking one way when you should be looking another way. However, uh, when you come to find out what really happens to all of it, you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, I could see that happening. So it's not, it, it's really not out of the realm of believable. There's a whole lot of questions I have, but I can't ask, ask <laughs> any of them. Um, the mom being so despondent, is she like still a part of the of the story? Like, yes. Or does she just kind of shut off? No, no, she's part of the story. She's okay. a very large part of the story. Okay, yes. good. Okay, you, you say that you feel like this is really more of a realistic story. Mm -hmm. um, did was it Was it interesting to you? Um, it was slightly interesting. There was a lot. There, there was a lot of talk about like DNA, and how DNA is used to solve crimes, and because of that, they're using the same DNA from crime scenes to figure out genealogy yeah. and vice versa. So there was a lot of that in there, which I thought was kind of an interesting byproduct of what was happening in this story. So yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was vaguely interesting. Um, I don't know if it was the best book I read this month, but it was a definite four star. So okay. yeah, I, I would say that. I would, does it sound interesting to you? Uh, not so much. Not to mm -hmm. me. I mean, like, I love the idea of, of this book having more stuff about like genealogy and DNA, right. but um, I'm not entirely certain how, how good the plot's going to be to me. I can understand that. Yep, I can understand that. Um, but I definitely think that if you're interested in that kind of a thriller, this would be a good one for you to read. Um, because of the intricacies of what happens and honestly I didn't see the ending coming really until I got there and I was like oh yeah because most of the time through the whole story I was just like well it could be this it could be this it could be this it could be this there were so many options of what it could be but when it came to the end it did wrap itself up to yep so thank you so much for watching and until next time stay zany bye bye